We just killed the stone giant, and apparently the stone giant had previously killed the dragon. You, you guys loot that side of the cave? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll loot, loot the this back. side of the cave. You loot the side. Yeah. We give him some of the blood diamonds. Yeah. He can't judge us. <laughs> Be good, mate. Have some gems. How much is platinum worth? That's it good. Seven. Oh, what, tw Twelve? Twelve? So off, off right. back to the foreman. So head now. There's something else here, isn't there? Oh, Something wait. Else. Oh, the God. Cave Let's look at the cave drawings. There they are. <laughs> As you're leaving the cave, you're like, ah, oh, those are very nice drawings. They probably <laughs> tell a story. We're literally <laughs> at the mouth of the cave. Right, right team. And Baradun and the dickhead back on the adventure, <laughs> and there's like this like glowing cave. There's literally a cave <laughs> drawing somehow going, yeah. Yo, guys. It's got like yeah, a text yeah. above it, press X to interact. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Like, it's like glowing. We're trying to get out of the cave, and it's saying you have not a, <laughs> completed the objective. Ah, ah, ah god damn it. So we got all the loot. Did you get some loot? I got some loot. I got some loot. Yeah, yeah, you're doing really well with the loot. Yep, you've got the loot. Yeah, you've got a lot of loot there. You've got the loot. The loot that I put in the cave is fine, and then there's the cave drawings. Maybe after the loot we leave. No, yeah, there's, the cave, I mean, there's the cave drawings here. There's nothing else to do. So we just leave so, the loot. So I've mentioned, a, loot. I've mentioned a few times. So there's a few times that I've mentioned the, the cave so drawings. Just, so should like, we go back and get And I made a point of saying that they're like back. really I intricate I drawings. Just, out of here. I don't I don't just like all, all over the cave. Like, stone stone artisan. There's a stone giant who are known for like etching history into stonework. And there's the exposition of everything. I wrote a lot of stuff for this. Good work, guys. Indeed, well today. It's okay. It's okay. You can drop it in later. You can you can find a way to shoehorn this exposition into another scene. <laughs> Again. I will have uh, anybody who cares to investigate the ca uh, cave drawings make an investigation check. Before they do, I I oh, want to. They do, so um, they oh, as as they're. Oh, yeah, I guess you can. Um, I, I. Oh, thank God he said something because that was below average roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! What a coincidence! Oh yeah, damn. Um, if you're going to try and read them, sorry, that's, what, that's what's happening. I, um, I, I feel an urge to um, kind of hold it by the shoulder and, and cast uh, guidance. Guidance! Yeah. Yeah. First time, Hell yeah, yeah boy. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so uh, I will definitely have not seen that nine before. And you um, get yeah. to roll there an was, investigation How trip. did you see that? You've got the eyes of an eagle. Because that was quite yeah, nice. He's also got, the, also got, the got a very good angle. Like an eagle. <laughs> like an eagle. Like an eagle. He's, eagle. he's at least <laughs> two feet away. <laughs> Cocked. No, it's not. Definitely. <laughs> it's like it's like five way cocked. So the point was upwards. Well, like mostly leading on the seventeen. <laughs> seven. Oh, but wait, right. seven. But wait. But I've got lots. With of guidance, you get to add that as well. Yeah, and also, do I add other yeah, stuff? Yeah, you add your investigation too. Three. Another three. So we're at a ten plus your investigation. Uh, where is investigation? Is, is she the only one that cares? <laughs> I'm. I'm also looking. So, oh, uh, good lord. Uh, oh, guidance. 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 <laughs> Where's my investigation? Plus, probably nothing. Plus eight. Net, so net, net 20 with 18. plus a two. All right, so the two of you uh, will get the majority. Uh, you definitely will get all of it. Uh, you get mm. the majority of this as well. Mm. Um, you can tell that it tells a story from beginning to end, essentially. You know enough uh, with your net 20 plus stuff. You know enough to know the direction that stone giants usually tell their stories is like top to bottom rather than left to right. So you kind of read it that way. Uh, you see that it tells the story of a great war approaching. Uh, and there is a figure that with that high score, you wouldn't have been able to get this otherwise. Um, you, can f you can tell that there's a figure of Baltaroth the Destroyer mm -hmm. and the Army of Eternal Fire. The next section of it tells the story of the Storm Giant Prophets uh, foreseeing it. And uh, again, with that sort of history check, or the, I'll, I'll apply it to the same sort of role for history. Uh, you know that Storm Giants in particular are uh, diviners and, f and fore foretellers and uh, soothsayers and things, they, they generally are prophets. They are seeing this army, of this, this uh, great war approaching and that the war will have huge ramifications on all of life. You can oh. see that there's a, a scene depicting the extinguishing of the crucible of life. Life. It's my thing. <laughs> <laughs> not life. <laughs> it's not my thing. But I'm alive. <laughs> not here, yeah, but I'm alive. The next scene so it's, it's almost like they're predicting the end of the world, or they're predicting the extinguishing of the... Predicting the extinguishing of the crucible of life, and then the next section has the high sorcerer, uh, a high sorcerer figure that you can tell is definitely a high sorcerer figure, defeating Baltaroth alongside a bunch of adventurers. Oh my god, guys, from reading the story, I think they drew a picture of me! <laughs> Look at this, it's a little me! What makes you think it's you? And uh, Well, because I helped defeat Baltaroth the Destroyer with all the adventurers. Oh, did you? Yeah. No. Because it was, it's a quest in the game, you idiot. 
There's like a what? Because you know you're a player slash NPC. You definitely know what happened. Bear him, bear him, bear him. (laughs) (laughs) Stop. (laughs) We don't we don't go into it. Stop. Um, (laughs) We definitely don't tell this guy which one he is. Um, The there's like and and I and I take I take a selfie with myself from the picture of myself. (laughs) What is that? You hold it. What is that? It's minor magic. illusion. It's just a, it's a, 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 of a phone. It's his staff. No, it's my staff. Yeah, oh, no, it's got, cool. and it staff does out. a minor illusion picture of me and the. Uh, yeah, right. That's cool. That's cool. Um, the there's a scene of like this uh, this this um, arachnid kind of demon as well, but fighting beside him, one of his uh, generals, Elizabeth Delac. Uh, then there is uh, the storm giants telling about um, the next scene has the storm giants telling that prophecy so that's not the event as it was happening that was the storm giants foreseeing it uh you can see that the next scene is them telling the order of the weave about the dangers of what is to come with the with everything that came before it all of that war with baltaroth and such so sorry just clarifying the the war with baltaroth is something that's already happened that is something in this story uh in this story that you're reading on the wall that is something that has not yet happened They're, they're prophesying it but you're now getting to the stage where they're telling the order about this is coming in your uh, in your world, as you're standing in this cave, it has it is a historical right, event right, that right, did right. come to pass. Mm. Right. Oh, yeah. gotcha. Uh, the next scene shows the high sorcerer character immersing himself in giant culture and law and learning the language, living like a giant. There's lots of scenes of this high sorcerer becoming very giant-like in his um, in his uh, in his studies. And then the next scene shows. Do I remember if this definitely is me? You you definitely have not done that. Oh, I'm confused. So, mm. so this is talking about stuff that's happened in the past, so far. Yes, it's like so in, far in, in the world that we live in. Yeah, yeah. so far it seems. So far, yes. this is history. Yeah, yeah. Yep. and they're talking about a high sorcerer, and that's still history. Yeah, yeah. Yep. and seems it's like not it. you because you don't remember it. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Mm. That's why I was like, "How do you know it's you?" And you were all like, "Me." Yeah. <laughs> like, well, the Beltroth the destroyer thing was. Beltroth has been defeated in history mm. by. The high sorcerer and a bunch of adventurers. Unless it's happened multiple times. Mm. The next scene shows. Video game. The next. (laughs) 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 Like it's some kind of. Like it happens every time somebody turns. No, I mean like it's one of those repeating history things that Uh, it's happened thousands of years, even prior mm, to the war of the Eternal Fire that happened quite recently. Mm. Uh, The next scene shows the uh, the high sorcerer guy going beneath the waves to learn more about this prophecy to uh, to. It seems like him immersing himself in the giant culture was so that he can then go to the storm giants and learn firsthand from them about the prophecy. The storm giants live under the ocean. You said the waves. Yes. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yep. Storm giants generally live under the waves. Oh, that's oh. cool. Oh. Uh, you can then see in the next scene, we're getting towards the bottom of the wall now, that uh, the high sorcerer character upon returning was betrayed by an elven wizard. Oh. Fucking elves. And then the next scene is much harder to depict. It is it is uh, difficult on the mind the way that it's drawn. It's it, it's de- it's definitely something that that you can't work out. Mm. I hit it that time. It hit, bounced off my thumb. Mm. I was like, Suck. you should have grabbed it. I should have I should have like I, I should have put my hand like here instead of here. Instead of letting, letting it bounce off, I didn't you should think have about it. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is this is the part that you you're starting to lose it at this point. <laughs> yeah. But with your nat 20 plus 2, you can, you can determine from this that it's a depiction of that high sorcerer character being sent to the Shadow Realm um, and all that that entails with the ah. weird chaotic... So it's not me, it's uh, Califac. Seems like it. Okay guys, I, I, I think I've deciphered this. It's a story about how the giants were prophesied that one god... Whoa. You go <laughs> yeah, no, sorry, yeah. Uh, that... that the hell that that uh, yeah right uh so there would be one yes. elf i think the elf is you bob just yeah, go yeah. just go, go and, okay sorry sorry there's an elf there's bob he's prophesied he's going to save the giants but there's a, there's a high sorcerer in this the high sorcerer yeah. the high okay. sorcerer me? me no the high sorcerer is califac the high sorcerer is califac it's not me and then califac get it, get it, get it, get it. guys guys pay attention yeah, yeah, forget about the fly forget about the fly forget about the fly Okay, we're all focusing, focusing, fuck fuck the fly, fuck the fly. Ah! Ah! Okay, 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 and the high sorcerer's Carlfax, and he goes into the shadow realm, and after he goes into the shadow realm, he becomes real evil, and that's your patron. Ah! Didn't get it, didn't get it. Only able to converse with giants from having immersed himself uh, 100% into giant lore and culture 
up to that point of uh, being betrayed, it seems that his drive is return enough to return, them, uh, return the giants to life, the ones that he speaks to. And you now realize what Kelefax, what the wither of Erdorin's connection to giants is. Mm. Right before he was betrayed by Leothil, he had immersed himself fully into giant culture in order to visit the storm giants under the waves. Mm. And then he was immediately sent to the Shadow Realm and that's why he can converse with them. That's why he brings them back to life. That's why he's trying to get the giants to work for him in betraying, in defeating them. Oh, oh, so there might be something to do. We might be able to get on the big bad evil guy's good side if we save the giants. Right. I'm glad you guys can focus this one with this flag on. It's really hard, isn't it? Admittedly, it's really hard. Admittedly, finding a very difficult... But by Big Bad Evil guy, you mean Caliphate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, who is the evil... So, so do we know if Leothal or Caliphate is evil? Yeah, it's all grey. It's all grey. It's all grey. You got inside a giant at some point, didn't you? Oh, I've been inside a few, mate. He's like, real into them, so... Yeah, well, that's how my night, my nightmare started happening. Right. I ate a bit of nightmare, <laughs> and now it's in me. That yeah, I wouldn't do that again. Sense <laughs> yeah. to me. Don't tell me how to live my life. <laughs> the final scene that you uh, recognise down the very bottom is that this new creature in the shadow realm has started spreading his blood amongst people in the material realms, uh, and from them spreading their blood to others. Uh, and that's how he's creating, uh, turning folk into warlocks of his. Yeah. And as he makes more warlocks, he grows in power. Mm. Cool. I mean, so one of Califax's new powers cool. is coming from the existence cool. of warlocks, like, like these giants that you just <laughs> killed, yeah. right by your foot. Okay. Uh, awesome. So does that mean that he's in the heads of everyone, or just in not? Ju uh, there might be other people. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, remind, there are, there are other me, people, like uh, the guy uh, we met at the tavern, who was all like, oh, the, uh, crazy right. This with the wither ability that affected the wolf ages ago, and, mm -hmm. and think, has that something to do with this? That, that is exactly That is literally yeah, yeah. the effect of him. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Witherness. Uh, God, he sounds like a real, real great guy. Yeah. Mm. I'm a big fan. So, I'm Rob, glad you, you didn't just uh, walk out of the cave. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and I'm glad I also wrote the story. You had this planned more than a year ago. This is outrageous. <laughs> hey, can we, mate, I've heard, no, it's just, from the it's just lucky coincidence the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, He's so just lucky saying, we just stumbled upon this game. Ahead of you, Britain, like, oh God, made the, made, story made the train tracks. Oh God. Yeah. Can I we have, have just for the people who really can't focus on things with a flag going around, just recap that and like, TLDR. Sure. Don't worry that? about it. Um, uh, and yes, to answer your question, I've had things planned since before we started this campaign that won't pay off for another like two years when we finally finish this campaign. Oh my okay, nerd. The TLDR from someone who doesn't know all the information is that yeah. uh, Califact, the previous high sorcerer, yeah. got also, just like me, was betrayed by Leothil. Mm. Yeah. And Leothil sent Califact to the, uh, to the Shadow Realm. Right which turned him into... Uh, this is information that you can tell him in character because oh, it's yeah. stuff that I revealed in the last 10 oh, yeah, yeah. So you weren't there. Baradun, while reading this, so is, is telling the story of what's happened. We found out this from, uh, from Zybilma, that Leothul sent uh, Califact to the, dark, to the Shadow Realm and it turned him into a Dark Lord, basically. And Califact oh. is now evil. Oh. And he is Wither, slash Verderin, slash the bad evil goo that we keep knocking into. Oh. He's so also in his mind. That's, a that's part what's of causing... Him. And all of the yeah. stone giants, all the giants we've been killing. <gasps> that guy. All the, all the, <laughs> all the giants we've been killing that are kind of like, uh, have possessed. the black goo with them as well, are possessed up like... His manifestation. Remember the other crazy Bob we met into who. Yeah! He's no, also. I mean, yeah, yeah, Not the hags, though. Eh? <laughs> no, they, they were independent. Yeah, they were independent. So. And so Califac didn't want to be evil. He became evil because he got sent to, to the, the Shadow realm. realm. Yeah. Um, and from the sounds of it, Califac, you know, he, he's been turned into an evil Dark Lord, but not necessarily. By choice. By choice. So he's, he's definitely evil. He's doing bad things, but. There it's might be a objective overall, we reckon. Well, we kind of got told by uh, by Zabilna by Zabilna oh, that he Zabilna. wants to kill Leothel. Right. Mm. He has a one-track mind. That's why he's been saying words like kill and return and sorcerer and not gone. <laughs> so he wants to kill Leothel uh, well, for betraying him. Yeah, it's, it's grey, but there's things like we could kill Leothel and that could sate. Uh, uh, Califax, but it could also be Califax like, well, now he's dead. We're I'm going to kill the rest of everyone. He was never <laughs> sated. Yeah. Oh no, Leothil might be the only thing that can stop him. Yeah, there's mm. that as well. 
Mm. But Leothel's also a bit of a piece of shit. So yeah, 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 I, remember remember being, shit. I don't remember a lot. But I don't remember evil. This shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can you, s- Leothel, when when with day one of this whole campaign, yeah. was like your servant. Or like you no, are kind of like the head of arcane research. He was kind of like he was kind of like your lesser then. <laughs> he's, he's, he's a head of department <laughs> in the Order of the Weave, so he's one of Which like the eight important. people on the council. It's just that he's the top guy. Really? He's I, the I, I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm the <laughs> chancellor of the university, yeah, yeah, the and he's the one of the professors. And, yeah. head of the and he must be, and he's been around for a while because he, if he was the one that trained. Oh yeah, he's been around for ages. He's like five hundred years old. He's an elf. He's old. That's intense. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. Good work. Oh wow. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I mean, the, <laughs> the the real pros put the D four on the bottom. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Way to start with a D six, you loser. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Radio, shall we? <laughs> the dice of the loser. <laughs> <coughs> shall, this invitation. Shall, shall we? He- yeah, get this invitation. Head Hell off yeah. uh, to the. Um, to the foreman's office, I guess. All right. I don't as really you, know what we're doing. Like, as you leave, I have to join you guys. I don't really know. Oh, what we're well, let, let me explain. So we're trying to get in the good graces of the Sandana family, who own the Erangel mining operation. Okay. Yeah. Can we? And we so, killed, the, killed the dragon for them. Yeah. So you, 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 you know about the big bad demon, Califact thing. That's the that now we might, know. That might be I the end, end, of the end of times. I do now after the reading that. Yeah. Thing? Now I've just told. Okay. Them. So yeah. Zavell Z- Z- never informed you about that. Uh, no, okay. no, no. It was part of the legend. So that, that, that's our ma- right. that's our main goal now. Yeah. So the big okay. bad evil guy is not Lethal. It's Cover. Mm. Okay. And, we, and, and, and but we need to. We, we're know. just a bunch of dudes. Yeah. And a, and a girl. Um, and, and, and we and, and we need a girl. No, a girl. Your girl. That should be your name. The dudes and one girl. Dudes and a girl. The dudes and a girl. And we're like, we can't defeat this guy by ourselves. We need help. But the only way to get an audience and get help is to. Yeah. Do something. Talk to some of the of main family, the five main families of. You know. uh, I can get on board with this. But also, Lethal is currently meeting with the five families and turning mm. them to his side. So we need to kind of turn them to yeah. Lethal. So we need to go yeah. shit talk a bunch. Correct. Yeah. There's more of us than there is in, of him. Yeah. In mechanical terms, just to give you a bit of a peek behind the curtain, as it were, when the time comes for Subtation Day, when the Order elects a new High Sorcerer, it looks like it's going to be Lethal. Uh, Master Padrick is also in the running, another one of the uh, sorcerers at the, uh, another one of the wizards at the university. You, oh, that was oh, so I you heard it! I thought that you did get so it. Close. <laughs> <laughs> that flies on thin <laughs> It's going to be like several episodes of us just like, can't get yeah. another damn fly. Um, I, I so, just, but someone should Lathil's, It's like Breaking Bad. Yeah. Lathil yeah. is um, uh, currently in the running to be ele- re- uh, elected high sorcerer. Mm. They take public um, opinion into account, so Leothil is here kind of campaign and being like, vote for me. Um, mm. Padrick, you were doing some, these guys were doing something for in the Dead Frost, also trying to get people on his side. If you can, t- if you can convince the five families with something like you've done with the dragon, that, five fami- that, that member of the families will, uh, will be on your side rather than Leothil's side when the time comes. Mm-hmm. So at the moment, Provided that this after discussion goes well, um, uh, it's not a guarantee with you guys. But <laughs> provided that you don't f- anything up, the Sandanas are now That's on your you side. That's bob at the door. Yeah. The Sandanas are now on your side because you've de- defeated their dragon. If you go and deal with the smuggling thing for the Eldrins, they will also be on your side. If you deal with whatever the Selwyns want you to deal with, they will also be on your side. Anyone you do not manage to convince while you're here in the Thilburn Islands will be on Leothil's side when the time comes. But something we also discussed the other day is that, uh, I might say this in character, is uh, there is also coming a time where I might just be powerful enough to Re-emerge as the high sorcerer, and we can stop all of this voting business. But I'm not powerful enough at the moment. You'll never be more powerful than me. <laughs> as long as Leothil hasn't got any contingencies. For and I do prestidigitation in his face, and fire would go. <laughs> 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 what, what's your hit points? <laughs> what's your hit points? <laughs> I'm so strong. <laughs> I'm, like, so I'm over a hundred tough. I'm over a hundred tough. I should be high sorcerer. I'm, a, I'm over a hundred tough. I'm a hundred tough. <laughs> All right, shut the fuck up. Um, you leave the cave. Can we go down a cardboard like a sand dune? <laughs> <laughs> I've been Over thinking about that for a while. Smack. Yeah, yeah. You absolutely sure can. To get back to town. I want. Fast. I want well, some I, kind I, of a check to see how this goes. Guidance. For you. <laughs> <laughs> you guess guidance. Uh, yes. We can acrobatics check. Uh, Eighteen plus guidance. Good. This one. Nice. Baby. 
Plus your athletic, athletics oh, or acrobatics. I think it's like negative one for athletics, but uh, that's fine. Let's go acrobatics then, next page. Wait, what, what, next what, page. There what? you go, acrobatics. Plus two. Plus two, there oh, you what? go. What did I say? 23. 23, you Hell do not yeah. kill yourself going down the side of this mountain <laughs> <laughs> on a piece of cardboard. So she's just like, I'm off! And we're like, oh, 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 are you going oh, down oh, the hopefully that, that goes well. Yeah. Like, What's <laughs> the tapestry? <laughs> big old tapestry. <laughs> I would never damage a priceless artifact. Sorry, I just whacked the mic at the same time there. <laughs> you, um, uh, you head down, <laughs> down the, the mountainside. As soon it's as the rest of you leave the, the cave, you see that there's like a large thing down there. I only wanted to do that if it was like a collective group thing. I don't have any cardboard. Oh, damn. <laughs> waiting for them at the bottom awkwardly. I thought they were behind me. Same way we came up. Yeah, yeah. I guess so. Just go, I mean, you just, you just gotta could, start. Yeah. You fly down. Well, only you can only fly. You can fly. Oh. Only Excuse you can me. Fly. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna toboggan on this piece of cardboard I prepared earlier. Uh, what the hell are you doing? It's a toboggan, clearly. Yeah, and you're gonna go down a rocky mountain on a piece of cardboard? You've got it. Right. I, I, Wait. Someone give me a push. I mean, I mean, Roger? Oh god, she's gonna Oh, oh Jesus! Oh, oh god! Oh, 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 who could have seen that happening? Did we just witness Clem die? Clem is crazy! Oh! That is a literal cliffhanger! Oh, I just heard her! Oh. Oh, I'm she's doing it really well and healthy. She's having a great time. Oh, she, okay. oh, that's nice. oh cool, that's good. So she definitely didn't die. That's good. Is that right? Cool. Yeah. So should we all fly down there? If we we can't jump. fly like oh, you. Oh my god, fly. just Bob. jump and try. We'll see you in a day. Okay. Uh, <laughs> there is, you see, there's a large contingency of elven miners just waiting outside the cave for you to get your fill and leave, because then they can take the rest of what right. you've left behind. Oh. Get on in there. And they they head in with their mining picks and start to clear out the rest of the dragon loot. Uh, you get down to the foreman's office. It is late now. Uh, thankfully, yeah. the foreman has stuck around because she needs to know whether you've been successful or not in your work. You. Uh, you head into the office and uh, to try and speed things up again. You tell her you exposition. I, I come exposition in and I, I, I do do the uh, thing. We walk in and just slam it on the desk. <laughs> I slam the skull on the desk. And it's dealt with. That's uh, <laughs> <laughs> very impressive. Oh my god! It was on my head. It was on my head. <laughs> Damn it! Sorry. The dragon. Would, no, fly. <laughs> uh, continue. I got it. Come. She opens a drawer, gets out a small stone with some runes carved into it, and uh, you hear her say. Oh, and it's Sigyn. I have some adventurers here that have dealt with the dragon for us. I'm looking at its skull right now. She places that back in the drawer. She pulls out another stone similar and hands it to you. You're the one who slammed it down, so you look at it. Yeah, you know they're relatively common among uh, more magically uh, adapt co uh, countries and civilizations that uh, it's a sending stone. It's a way of it's sort of like a sending stone. It's it's a once per day in both directions, so one person can activate it and then both people can reply. It's basically a tweet. You can tweet at them and they can they can reply tweet and then and this later goes in the day specifically they can do to Owen Owen Sindana. Hashtag dragons did. <laughs> and do, 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 you, do you talk to it or do you, you talk? You activate it and talk to it. You can say up to twenty five words, which is why I say it's like a tweet. You mm -hmm. know, you're limited in the amount you can say. They they have the immediate chance to respond. Respond, and Does then it, they it, can, it, you, can you join words together? Just can calling you join up together. To say, <laughs> so like, if you get twenty seven words, if you can, if you speak German, German oh. you, can, you can have an is entire it, conversation. It characters Does it go through in the voice? It goes like, through in your voice. Yeah. Whoever yeah. whoever receives the message knows who it is that's sending it. To What's you. that? There's an app that you were using for a while there. You and Chelsea just you could say a few like almost like a walkie talkie. Oh just, God! This sounds, 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 this sounds vital. Yeah, it was like you could just go, "Hey, I'm da 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 da." It's just real quick messaging back between. Maybe, oh, maybe no, I don't think that was me. No, yeah. anyway. No, 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 no. We need to get one of that. It was someone. It was someone else messaging your wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! It's like you got snapped. You? And then this one's just like, "Hey, I'll be home in a sec." Yeah, so it's almost basically like I vaguely remember something like that. I feel like that's every message. Yeah, you can program. do that on any do messaging that on service. All messaging things. Really. Yeah. Oh, amazing! A sending stone, so I can send twenty-five words, get twenty-five words back. Easy. Oh, so it's a bit like um, Twitter. Uh, I mean, similar to Twitter, I guess. But uh, no, it's just easy. You just send twenty-five words, get twenty-five words back. That's all. Yeah. I can. Oh, but like, is it like, um, is it like, like, like written words, or like, can you like voice? Can you do voice? I mean, it's voice is kind of like mental. It just happens. It just happens. Right. What, voice, like, because there's, there's an app. There's an app. I mean, what's it called? Um, um, um. What's that? What's that app? What's that app? There's an app that's kind of like a walkie-talkie 
you can call, you're like, you go, you go, hey, how's your day? And then they go, yeah, yeah my day's been good. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's like that with so it's 25 like, words, 25 words back. But, but like, is it like just, is it audio or just text? Like, audio or text? Is it like, is it like Twitter? You, you, you're, you're a special case. Do, do you know that? Do you know you're, that? You're a special case, Bodger. Greg, Greg. You, you know, you know the one, the, the walking talkie. Hey, hey, darling, how's your day? Anyway, that's what this is like. We, we, we should, we should head <laughs> Thanks, back. Thanks, man. I wasn't able to visualize it properly until now. Until now, I can imagine it's like that vague app. <laughs> that may yeah, or may you know, not have. You know the vague app. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like this thing. You guys know what the, the. Would you say like kind of like a tweet? Like kind of oh, like a tweet. It's still going. It's like a uh, verbal but, but, tweet. But like with, oh, like a I'm so bored. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. Right. Oh, I found that really oh, helpful yeah, so because before I was like, oh, it's like a thing we can send a short message. But now I know <laughs> it's like a thing we can send a short message. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, and stop it! <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Sigan Sundana grabs the, the, the head and slams it down again and yeah. says, Owen says that I'm to uh, invite you to uh, the noble uh, Palette Sundana's house. Uh, he will, uh, I will get in touch with him and he will come and pick you up now. Um, you will be welcome to spend the night with, uh, with one of our, our highest uh, members of our family. Oh, I, wow. I appreciate the member of a family, just a super stoned teenage boy comes out. Like, oh, <laughs> what were you guys expecting? What's going on? Oh, you want to come and hang out? The <laughs> <laughs> highest <laughs> member of our family, <laughs> Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> got Doritos, I got Nintendo 64. Yeah. Um, <laughs> sounds like a good night, yeah. to be honest. Mario Kart. You guys want to play some Zelda? <laughs> <laughs> You uh, you wait around for a moment or two until uh, until trundling up towards the the mining operation on a horse and carriage, uh, a, uh, um, a a driver and um, butler isn't quite the right word. I'm trying to think of the staff chauffeur. member that is yeah chauffeur. Let's say um, is there to collect you for on behalf of Palette Sandana. Uh, you get into the the cart and he trundles off. Uh, it's quite late into the night by the time you arrive in a town called Runel on the on the shore of this island of Erangal. Mm. You see uh, you see that you are at the base of what is a huge cliff face and looking up it in the uh, moonlight sky you can see that sticking out of the cliff face embedded into the stone itself a huge sailing ship. Cool. I feel like the fact there's a there's a boat here in front of us I means there'll be a big fight coming up here. Yeah, you what you're talking about. <laughs> Leithel's going to see my face in mere moments. Shut the f*** up! <laughs> Thank you for watching. Uh, you probably already are subscribed, so maybe I can ask you to p please support us on Patreon. The button is right there. It helps us make more videos.